hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, back to football, uh, proper football this time for league. Uh, Ryan, as always, it's a pleasure to have you on, mate. Um, no problem. Got a fair few things to go through. Even though we have been, you know, there's been no football for us, still a few things to ever touch on. We'll get to late in Orient preview in a minute. But again, Ryan, we've just been on about it off air. This shirt deal, this fanatics, it's, it just seems to be one thing after another, mate. I can't it's see where it's improving, is it? I've seen it on since we did that little bit of a, um, a show about it. It's just, it's just, it's not, got, it's not got any better, has it? Mm. I'd have been expected to listen to us anyway, but you know, <laughs> but um, just making people aware of what's going on. But yeah, it's just same, same old, same old, isn't it? With stories, people not getting the shirts, mm. people saying stuff like, "I'm thinking about buying. I'm going to buy like my lads some one for Christmas." I saw one online yesterday. Lads, I'm going to buy one for Christmas, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. And that's ridiculous to say yeah. we're, you know. <laughs> Coming towards the end of October, and you're not sure if you order a shirt now whether you're going to get it for Christmas for a, for a present. I mean, how many sales are they going to miss out on because of the buyer confidence being so low that they don't know if they're going to get it? I mean, you know, last season and all the seasons before, how many you know how many new Barnes shirts were under kids kids and you know and men's grow and you know everybody's Christmas trees? Uh, it's always uh, it's a good stocking filler. Um, uh, they make great presents and. This year, I can't, they must the sales must have nosedive now. Yeah, I like so much stuff online about the poor service and and, not, and not turning up next. Set, and when they do turn up, they're, they're they're not right or they're missing bits or numbers are peeling off or whatever it might be. Buyer confidence has got to you know it's got to be really low and it's got to have made a massive effect on the sales. And I think once they get to end of season, mm. I think it'll be significantly lower than than all of the previous seasons. Yeah, and hopefully I mean, that might lead the club to think yeah all right because I, like i was said before it were done with the best intentions by the club mm. it just hasn't worked out, it has it? Worked so, out has it? i know you contacted me about two or three weeks ago and you raised yeah. it then you said neil we've got to do a video and like i said but it's not a new thing it's not like oh well we're it you know we're in october and it's like a new thing you raised it well two or three weeks ago and said look yeah. can we get i said yeah and that's when you were coming out with stuff uh about people with emails and stuff like that backing yeah. it up and and it's right, it's it's getting to like now we've had enough the same stuff. And you, you see, people will be thinking, oh yeah, but it's you know, it's it's a big firm and blah blah blah. I don't buy that one bit anyway, because it don't matter what, what club you have, if if you've got a new as a club in your fanatics experience, you should be trying the same with customer experience, regardless yeah. if it's like Barnsley or Barcelona, yeah. Uh, you're going to share, sell more shirts to Barcelona, I get that. But at the end of the day, you've still got a duty and care to your fans. And yeah. it's gone to such as like, yeah, us as a club, us as fans, we're suffering. And when you see your stories, and it's not just like odd one or two, it's a lot. And when we're saying, oh, we're getting refunds back because parcel has been lost, uh, you're going to have to reorder again, shirts, uh, numbers peeling off, uh, a shirt turn up, but no socks or uh, things for a yeah. kit, and right. So we just accept it. You pay, you pay money, but it's, it's, it's been a poor experience, mate. And I, and I would like to see now what, what we, we are compared to last season, shirt for shirt sales. We've got to be massively down because I'm not seeing that many new. No, I'm not seeing nowhere near as many. Yeah, we didn't see. They didn't say there's no. You're not seeing nowhere near as many new shirts. No. And um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, and it's just the silence from the football clubs a little bit. It's irritating me a little bit, I have to say, because, you know, they should be saying, look, we're aware, we're really sorry, we're working on it kind of thing, but nothing, it's just radio it's silence. silence again, isn't it? Which, you know, it's not it's not really right, considering it's a decision that they made and it's their fans that are receiving the poor service. You, you can't just, I know fanatics are running it, but it doesn't mean you can just palm that responsibility off and just, no. you know, sort of wash your hands of it kind of mm. thing, because that's what it feels like at the minute, actually, I think, to a lot of fans. Yeah, and I feel sorry for uh, staff in club shop actually because they yeah. do great work, uh, you know, and they, they all work. I feel sorry for staff in club shop because I've been in a few times and people have been coming up and saying, Oh, do you know we're getting this and no, oh, this is ridiculous. And I'm thinking, it, I'm not it's being clear, but it's not yeah. their fault. I can understand the frustration, but it's not their fault. But they're here to the face with Brunton, and I think that's unfair as well. I think that it could be put out better by the club and saying, we know this, we're working on this, we're working with fanatics and put something out of here, a bit of the statement. But it's like the people that's going into work, you know, a customer coming up and wants an X, Y, Z kit or this, or we haven't got this in. Oh, it's ridiculous. This is shambolic. They probably know about the sense, but, you know, they are working. It's not their, it's not their fault. 
it's, yeah, it goes yeah. higher up than this, doesn't it? it goes Absolutely. Up and the good guys, you work, the good guys in club shop. Yeah, they are. They're yeah. always helpful. They're always friendly. As soon as you come in, they'll say, "Is there anything I can do for you?" You know, yeah. what I mean, if you need yeah. any help, just give us a shout. Been the same guys for years. Yeah, and, and they've always been really, really good. So it's you know, it's sad to see that they're copying, copying for the fact that fanatics are this faceless giant corporation yeah. that are perform, underperforming, and mm. it's actually Barnsley FC staff that are copying it in neck. Yeah, um, it's, it's and, and, you know, guys that historically have always done, always given a really good service. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 a cock up from start to finish. I think it's fair to say, it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing. And again, I did a live last Friday. Uh, at Charlie on his guest and Dan, Dan uh, as well. He, yeah. he could uh, attend it. And again, we, we brought up about the college rumours. You know, is he going into going? And again. I'm not going to really dwell too much on that because I think he'll be going to end the season the way back to Sweden, yeah. which is fair play. You know, it's his country, uh, you know, with his family and stuff, because he goes to a country and that. But and what I am going to get on about this, uh, the Caledon Ball surrounding club is this big, I won't say cloud, but this big uncertainty question mark over the so-called big news, Ryan. Uh, yeah. Things have been coming out, and for me, I would just wish it would come out because... There's people guessing it's going to be West Ham redevelopment. It's going to be guessing that council's going to own the ground and we've got an extended lease. There's numerous other things going off about Grove Street, about the school and in Mortal, blah, 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 blah. And I'm looking at it, Ryan, is the, the time the so-called big news gets unveiled, it won't be big news because everybody's like second guessed and got it right anyway. So yeah. I can't see why they just don't like, come out, wait now, and say, look, this is what's, you know, Gives a bit of every day of sunshine because you know potentially we've still got the EFL chance to have a club out. So yeah. again, just come out with a big news. Just come out with the announcement because there's more of it. People second guess and keep questioning it. Then someone's going to go it right, and we're going to be like, "See, see, I told you it was going to be this." Just come out with it. Just come out with it, yeah. Because it's what he should have done. But he, you know, you know what he's like, Khalid. He's a, he's a bit of a egomaniac in it. He like you know, he like he likes a bit of big man and. Um, but he should have kept his powder dry. If, if oh. you know what I mean, if if the the announcement or the news wasn't that close, as in, there's, I understand why it's not being. It's frustrating for all of us, but I understand why it's not being announced because obviously, if it's is what we think it is, contracts have got to be signed. It's all got to be agreed before they can give word, and so they don't have to give back word. Oh. Um, but that won't be the first time, you know, kitchen sale, for example. But yeah. Um, he should have kept his powder around, kept his mouth shut, and then done it as a you know as a surprise thing. I think I think we're all pretty sure that it's going to be something to do with the ownership of the ground, mm. be that so much coming back to Barnsley Football Club or so much or it all going to council, and then West Ham. We all we can anyone with eyes in there can see West Ham needs you know needs developing. Once West Ham's done, our stadium's good for a very mm. very long time. Mm. You know I think the oldest stand is what less than thirty year old in the in the, the yeah. other three. It over three, yeah. Um, and it'll it'll finish the stadium off lovely. Um, and there's no need for us to go to go anywhere uh, once that's done. So I think that's the definitely the favourite, but I just wish they don't even get on with it. How can it take this long? <laughs> I see I he wouldn't I wouldn't have been bothered with it if it had turned around and said, Right, uh, we've got a big announcement coming up, and then we in less than a month we get to tell it, but we're going on from like way back there. Yeah, to like where we are now, and it's like these foreigners. You say, "What's the big? Oh, wait and see. Will, will it be end of twenty twenty three for Christmas? Or will it be? Who knows? I'm like, wow. It's like being told the kid at Christmas, isn't it? Well, Christmas mm. is coming up, and you're going to get a right nice pack. What, what's it going to be? Is it this? Is it that? Is it a bike? Is it got? Um, wait and see. I'm like big announcement. By the time it comes round, it's like over and done with, and I know what I'm getting. <laughs> at this rate, you know what I mean. Well, so. well at this rate, at, at this rate, by the time it comes out, Cali will have buggered off. He'll be, he'll be telling us from Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Farewell, party shop. Well, we're nearly back. What big news? Yeah. Oh, cheers. Thanks a lot. Uh, so yeah, going on from that, uh, and uh, let us know your in, in comments below. This would be interesting if BFC Marcus Paul as well as watching. I'm going to get in contact with him. Let us know what your thoughts are on this so-called big news is. Is it going to be a big standard development? Is it going to be hotels? Let us know. Be interested to see what comments uh, kept coming in for this, uh, for engagement. So, again, some good news, and we know it's like uh, imminent, 
is uh, Luke O'Connell. All being well, well Ryan, feels, should be yeah. back next month. Fingers crossed, everything goes well for the kid. <clears throat> I think he's had some training matches, hasn't he? And I think yeah. his fitness is, fitness is coming back. I'm just pleased. For, I mean, we've obviously missed him. We've, yeah. we've missed him so much. We've missed his energy at Midland Park. The, the, his phenomenal work rate. Um, you know, Neil Collins said they've missed just having him around because of his because oh. of his positive, positive attitude, the kind, the kind of lad that he is. We've definitely missed him as fans on field, but I'm just pleased for the lad that he's well. And, and he's and he's getting back to it because he's such a great player. It'd have been such a you know a waste of a talent for him to you know to have to go out again because of, because of constant illness. It'd have been such a shame. So it's it's great to see him you know back training and hopefully we can see him again you know in in a red shirt as soon as you know it, like ten next month. So that'd be mm. it's just great news, mate. I, you know I think he's personally I think he's his most talented player mm. Mm. that we have, um, and it's just great news. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pleased for lad is is a as player, but also him in himself as well because he's a great kid. I have spoke to him a few times. I just love his bubbly atmosphere, like what you said, Ian. Got a lot of time for you. He just says that charisma about him. He can have a joke and a laugh, and seems so outgoing. So as well as player, I wanted to come back right as it in his sin and all yeah. being well. It's going to be, you know, it's going into second half of the season. It'd be like a bit a bit of fresh impetus and it. It'd be seeming like a bit of a new signing as well. Exactly, well, I'm getting a new signing back, mate. Yeah. Because yeah. I think John Russell's really growing into that role, I have to say. And I think, mm. you know, it was a bit slow to get started, but he's he's really growing into that role now, is mm. Russell, which is which has been great. Um, but he just hasn't got that same energy. It's a slightly different CDM role that he plays in. He's more like a stalwart sort of, you know, yeah, big sure. center half playing at playing at centre defensive midfielder, and it, and, it, and it's worked for us because we, you know, as much as people were slating him when he didn't when he weren't playing, we missed it. We missed mm. it because we, we had them big gaps in that. In that, I'm one of them. What I actually called it to be fair, I said, look, for me, Russell's frustrating, but when he wasn't playing, it kind of it highlighted this show. Thinking, yeah, you know he what? Yeah, yeah, them gaps in midfield, especially against Blackpool at home. Well, we just mm. we just weren't picking up any of them setting balls, um, no. you know, from from no. kicks from from Liam Roberts. So, but anyway, but to have to have Luca back, my God, it'd be like like you said, it'd be like having a new signing because he's just a different player, isn't he? He's just mm. he's so quick, he's good with his feet. He gets he he, he flat, he gets into challenges, but he comes out with a ball, and as soon as he gets the ball, he's turned around, he's trying to turn it into attack. He's got a great, he's got you know, he's got a great ping on him. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see him back, mate. Can't wait to see yeah. him back. Uh, right. So, we've, we've, we've kind of caught up on so much stuff. Uh, <laughs> going into the Leighton Orient game. So, again, another trip on road. Uh, yeah. Boston game for international break, obvious reasons. But, again, another trip on road. And I was saying to you off air, um, Ryan, I didn't know Leighton Orient, if I'm honest, were a 10th. I thought we were a bit lower down than Max. I know they, they got promoted from League Two. I, I like Richard Wellens as a manager. I think yeah. he's a really... Upcoming coach Richard Wellens, I think he's done well at Leighton Orient, and I know at the beginning of the season they were in bottom, very very bad. Well, they had a shaky start, which shows with them being in tenth now shows how well the playing of late. Yeah, because for them to get off to a shaky start and then get themselves up to tenth means they're on a decent run. And if you look at the recent results, there's some decent, decent ones, results. Really. Yeah. So the no mugs at all, mate. They're, it's going to be you know make no bones about it. it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, it's tricky. I think it's. It's a ground. It's going to be a tricky ground to go. It's going to be a long journey for uh, Barnsley fans to travel down and come back all safe and well. We'll get on about that later on. Uh, but yeah, Richie Wellens. I mean, his side. I've watched clips in it. I haven't watched full games in it. I've watched clips of either play and that. And again, is another is another gaffer that likes to address things and very tactical aware of things as well. Yeah, uh, Ryan. yeah. yeah it's, they're a good side, mate. They had a brilliant season last year. Mm. In League Two, uh, they pretty much dominated throughout, didn't they? And, and they're bringing that. You can start seeing how they're bringing that football back in, back into League One. They, they do like to play proper football. They're not they're not football guys. So mm. it'll be, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough match. But I mean, we're we're on great away form. You know, we've mm. got a chance of equaling the club record of six away wins on bounce tomorrow if we do. Um, out of pressure, or do you think now confidence is there? We'll just take it as a game. I think confidence is there away at the minute. I think I think there's confidence inside, even when we're not playing to great, or it's a difficult game like it was at Exeter. Because I think a lot mm. of people said it, we played poor against Exeter. I don't think we did. I think we played all right. Just mm. it was just two good sides cancelling each other out. It were two good footballing teams. Yeah. 
they just sort of cancelled each other out. But we managed to get, you know, the vital goal. And I think that shows a lot of character and it shows a lot of ambition in the team. Um, so there's no reason to not not be full of confidence going into uh, it at all. I mean, going into the game, um, and I kind of second guess what you're going to say on this. Starting 11, I, I personally won't change it. I, you know, we've had, a, we've had a break. I can't see any injuries, any fresh injury, buddy news or no. all like that. I won't be changing up, mate. I'd be just going in this, this, this same starting yeah, eleven. I can't, see, I can't see anything changing, mate. Can't see. It. There's no. There's no. There's no reason to. No. There's no reason. To, maybe only potential is maybe Waters in for maybe McAtee to come in, but I think McAtee proved uh, against Exeter. He's 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 a massive impact when he comes on because against mm. tired legs, the way he chases where the way he chases down, oh, so he's yeah. going to get one of them off that keeper at some point this season. Yeah, yeah. he's going to get one. He's going to get a ricochet that flies in. I'm telling you, mm. if he keeps doing it, because he's he so close it. every time. He's got long legs. He's like lightning. So him coming on as an impact sub is against tired legs. Is is you know he's dangerous. Yeah. Um, but that's the only maybe somebody you know somebody coming in for um, for Waters, but. You know, if it's just if it's a winning eleven, like you said, there's there's no real need to change anybody, is there? No, I mean win eleven. Uh, I'd, I'd I'd still keep it same start eleven, if being honest. Um, and again, influential player for me, I'm thinking it's going to be someone like a Callum Styles. I think yeah. he'll be high on confidence. He got goal a month as well, didn't he? For against Northampton, it, it, which it was easy choice really, wasn't it? Oh, what a goal! <laughs> yeah. So I think you know. Can he carry on that kind of form? You know, uh, he's got got an award. He's probably buzzing. Is you know, he seems to be enjoying his send under Collins as well. So that's a positive yeah. as well. He featured in the um, Hungary win against Serbia. I want to say, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, they're one, they're right, on I the think. cusp of qualification, aren't they? They're on the cusp. They looks like they're definitely going to do it. I think they've got mm -hmm. a couple of games left in in order to do it. So they're almost there within mm -hmm. touching distance. And we saw last year how much of a good side they were Hungary when they beat when they beat England four 0 so he must be absolutely buzzing at the minute. He's got to be enjoying his football at the minute, hasn't he, I think, this season. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be, hasn't he? You know, he's playing well for his club. He's just got goal at month. He's playing for, you know, he's playing for, he's playing international football and hopefully, you know, playing at the highest level next season. Now, how good would that be to see Callum Styles yeah. playing at Euros next next year? Have a Barnsley player playing at, at, good, at, at Euros, it'd be, it'd be great, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's if he is a still Barnsley player after January, of course. Well, I think if he's kind of playing that he's playing, and he's like, I, I look at it like this, me. Would it be, you, you look at Kitchen and others what I've gone, and they've been on bench, bench warming. If he's playing football at Barnsley and he's enjoying it under Collins, which is, it looks like he's doing. I mean, we saw him in, uh, I think it's what, crew game uh, pre-season mm -hmm. when we were watching. And he seemed to be some of the balls and passes were playing. Well, like, it looked like a confidence were brimming, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think the way he were rolling defenders when he were rolling, oh, you know, he was just, he was just, he, yeah. looked, he looked incredible, mate. He's yeah. a great, he, Callum's a great player, isn't he? He's mm. definitely the best player we have on field at the moment. Do you think he's more of a, how can I say, a confidence player that uh, if he do not go right his own way, Ed goes down a bit and he loses a bit of that self belief? But I think Collins has brought the best out of him. Yeah, I think he looks, he doesn't look that way this season. I think. Mm. It reminds me a bit like under this man. I've, I've always thought he's had, a, he's had a great attitude, um, Styles. You know, he's he. You can't fault his professionalism when he when he was with us last season before before he got his move to 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 uh, no Millwall. He, um, he he played really well for us. He didn't sulk. He he made himself available and played uh, up until that point. And and he's done the same again. You know, he's he's doing the same again this year. Neil Collins has you know voiced how how, how happy he's at, you know how professional he is. So. Hmm. It, you you know, think I, think that, a lot, I think a lot of pros could could take a, a leaf out of his book, realizing that how lucky you are to be a professional footballer. And sometimes mm. the moves don't go your way, but mm. you've still got to be a professional about it. Mm. You know, and he, I think he says a lot about the lad for me. Do you think Collins has got a tune out of him a bit like Ishmael did? Because I remember when Ishmael played him out on left, he, he, he was a bit of confidence yeah. underdog for some reason. I know he had this release clause and that, and he, he started off and he went out on loan. I don't know if that one much down to play or his agent or whether it was system, but I think Collins has got styles playing similar. I won't say the same, similar to Ishmael, where the lads wanted to play and he seems to be wanting to get involved. Yeah. And, you know, and do what he does. Yeah. It seems, seems that way because the way he talks about him, it's almost as if he's, 
as if they're saying they're building the team around him, aren't they? Kind mm. of thing, the way that mm. the way that Collins talks, so and maybe that's giving him a massive co- uh, confidence boost. Mm. Yeah, feeling sure. like the feeling like the the kingpin at the on the field. You know what I mean? So yeah, good man management, I suppose. Good man. Management. I think I think there are. I think there's a lot of players improved. And I mean, look how much Devante Cole's improved this year. You know, mm. that's got to be Collins and and obviously work. He's doing a lot of work with John Stead, hasn't he? And John Stead's obviously. True. Yeah. Uh, vast, vastly experienced AFL striker. So, you know, Devant has improved immeasurably this season. Mm. You know, the, the difference between him and like last this and last season is just it's just night and day. Yeah, good shout. Uh, that. So yeah. I think it's, I think a lot of players have improved massively. Mate. Yeah, good shout. That good shout. Um, so yeah, we've kind of said that straight to David's time, starting eleven, barring any injuries, probably matters McAtee kind of thing, maybe. Um, Score prediction on this and Ryan. They've been very good at home, haven't they? And they've been scoring mm. at home. Well, they've not been scoring loads and loads of goals, but they, you know they've been scoring enough to win. Yeah. I'm going to say. Um, don't it, um, I'm going to say one nil Barnsley. One nil Barnsley. One nil Barnsley. Gonna, no, yeah. no, scratch, scratch that, scratch that. Sorry, two one Barnsley. You just remember so two, one, just because I think that, I think they probably will score. They've been really strong at home. So, but I'm going to say two one Barnsley. Yeah, but it's going to be tight. It's not, it's going to be a tight game. Yeah, you've read my mind. I want to say two one because I think the own form later not in tight Richie Wellens. I think there's goals in it for them, but I think with our confidence how we are at the minute away from home, especially away from home, mm. I can see us still taking and creating chances. Um, like I say, it's going to be tight. It's not going to be. <clears throat> an easy 2-1, far from it. Uh, I think late not in, being at home, it's going to be a test for us, but, you know, late not in 12, so once you do one over on us, I think we've just got enough just to edge it. And then I also look at the bench, like I said earlier with McAtee, coming off the bench is an impact. We've got a bit more via to come off and offer him as yeah. a threat, uh, if it's not going his way. But, yeah, I'm going 2-1. Uh, same as uh, same as you, Ryan. Um, yeah. So let us know your thoughts. We've we've talked. I'm just trying to recap now what we've been on about. So we've been on about the fanatics not so great experience, Kelly's situation, which we mentioned a few weeks ago. Also been on about the you know the big news, not so big news, and the late audience um, coming up game. If you're going down, safe journey there, safe journey back. I think it's about twelve hundred going this summer. Sold out, mate. Sold out. Yeah, sold, sold out. out in two days. <laughs> sold out. So fair yeah. play. I hope weather's going to be better. Oh, Jesus, it's been yeah. Cool. I, I, I've said this morning. I've, I've had a look at weather in London. It seems to improve. It's, it's not as heavy rain as it is up here, and right. it improves a little bit later on. So hopefully, right. hopefully that means we can get a game on. But we'll. Uh, yeah. Not something we can't, right. con- nobody can control, is it? So we'll have to see. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your comments below, especially about the, the big news uh, situation, the score predictions. Let us know what you all think about the score prediction. Both me and Ryan are going 2 1. It's going to be a tight game, but let's get back to South Yorkshire. Another three points and see if we can keep knocking on the door and chipping away to get in top two. We're currently occupied by Portsmouth and Oxford. All we've got to do is keep doing what we're doing and all being well. Next month, a few weeks' time, we we'll might see Luke Connell back in three. So that'd be another another boost to us, uh, uh, Barnsley fans. Uh, Ryan, as always, been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Uh, some good debates, some good uh, uh, talks going off here. Uh, one thing left to say, you were heads. <laughs>